Christ! Brent! What in the world? This beautiful animal, okay, literally jumps out of the water. It jumps out of the water between the both of us. It comes over our heads, almost hits me. Just completely out. Guys, If you, I don't know if you can tell, but look where the water is, right there. So just imagine this huge animal making its way right along the shore, flying out at this altitude over us and literally landing right here. Guys, what do you think this is? Maybe like 15, 20 feet? At least 20 feet out into the shore, all right? On its own. Now, I caught some of that on video. Not the actual jumping, but my camera right here was able to ca capture some images of the, of the, of the fish as it landed in on the shore. It was, it was some, I just couldn't believe it. I mean, it's one of those things, Junior. It will never happen again. Never. We won't see it in a lifetime. It, it's, it's, uh, you know, everybody has their fish, fishing tails. Everybody talks about, oh, I caught one this big and this happened here and that happened there. <laughs> you know, unfortunately, a lot of times people tend to think that you're exaggerating, but I can tell you this. There's multiple witnesses, and the other person who has nothing to do with Coastal GX and has nothing to do with his channel, we don't even know the gentleman. His name is Robert Capello, and we did talk to him, and uh, we'll be showing uh, some video clips of him. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you, that fish do sometimes commit suicide. All right, it's a real thing. <laughs> just choking, man, that was messed up. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Mama! We flash back to Monday, October 14. What you see is video of the fish seconds after it landed. Oh my god. I'm loaded. Oh my god. I'm loaded. Ayuda de carnal, ponlo ya, mijo. As we told you, my brother Junior was oh casting shit. for bait when this huge fish it? jumped what out. He was apparently attempting to eat the mullet near the shore. No! That's not a Jack Crabelle, that looks like a Spanish mackerel. Holy oh, shit! So cool. Dude! Rick, he jumped! He jumped out of the water! He flew from the water's edge out into shore! Wow, dude. Oh my god! Dude, hold on, hold on, let me. Oh, fuck. I thought you might need to oh. this. Rock. Yeah. I, I gotta get that. Oh, I yeah. I don't need. He's hurting. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. I mean, if you rinse it off, we probably tell, but it looks like a barracuda, but it might be a Spanish mackerel. Yeah, I think that's a Spanish or a King Mac or one of those things. As you guys know, I'm an inexperienced fisherman. I wasn't positive on the fish's identification and wanted a confirmation. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. No dejes que se caiga el agua, carnal. Aquí está esto. I'm gonna go talk to these guys and show them and ask them. I spotted some nearby fishermen and decided to head on over and ask their opinion. Sir, yeah. I have a question for you. Yeah. Something incredible happened to me. What the hell is this? Is that a mac? Mackerel? No, it's a ladyfish. They, they, they call them skipjacks. No, uh, this does not look like a ladyfish. Well, that's not a ladyfish. Oh, dude, that's a Spanish mackerel. It's huge, man. Not only that, I was there by the edge. We we're about to throw the damn net. And this thing comes flying over my head on its own. Over my head, almost hits me. And just goes over me and Lantern. Hits the shore. Bro, that's a, that's good eating, man. Is it? Real good eating. Do you think what's well? What is the measurement on that? 
It has to be over 14. It's oh, way over oh 14. yeah, man, that's a that's a huge one. So it's a keeper. It's a keeper, bro. High five it. Hey, brother, we we, we caught one too. Yes. On a mullet. Wow. No, that's not a ladyfish. No, that's not a ladyfish because it's got big teeth. See, like this. Wow. On its own. That's a that's, that's a, a king kingfish. King. King mackerel, right? Thank you. Oh. You don't even need bait. You just come up by yourself and just stand by the water. <laughs> God damn. Robert Capello followed me back to camp and helped us measure the king mackerel. No, I'm just friendly. Get up, bro. Come over here to this. I'll hold the tape and you get there on the list. See? That way you can get a good measurement on it. From the, from the, from the, from the wave. Is that in the punta? See. He's 45, brother. 45. King mackerel, huh? No, 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 get a full shot from the front of it. Holy shit. You got a picture? Yeah, I'm getting video here. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, from you here? Get, you should get in the video. Stand next to me. Let me see here. Yeah, let me see here. Good God, man. There it is. No lies. 45. 45, 45 brother. He's 45. Holy shit. Okay, hey, what? What happened? Okay, you're my witness. I went I went up to you. Yes. And I said, uh, hey, uh, you look like a serious uh, fisherman there. Can you help me identify this? I think it's a, it's a Spanish mackerel, but I don't know. It's 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 huge. It is a kingfish, 45 inches long, estimated between 25 to 30 pounds. It's a good one, bro. All right. Kingfish jumped out of the water <laughs> over the fisherman's head and landed on the sand. Right that is a us. true story. About true story. I have a witness, and his name is what's your name, sir? Robert Capello Jr. Robert Capello Jr. My tocayo from Edin from McAllen, Texas. From McAllen, which is my neighbor because I'm from North McAllen myself. There you go. Right. So he is my witness. He saw. Well, he didn't see it as a jump, but he saw as I was excited running over to him. This thing came out of the water, flew over my brother and I's heads. Almost, well, almost knocked me out. It's got to be, a, he flew about 20 feet. Incredible. 20 feet over the air. Incredible. Over well, bro, uh, no lie, we saw about a seven foot tarpon jump in front of us over there. So they're jumping out of the water, man. Woo! That tarpon jumping. <laughs> <by 20 feet. laughs> you got it, brother. Vamanos, thank you so but much. I appreciate it. We're, is, it oh, yeah. oh, is he still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. Crazy bass. That's what I Our friend mean. Alan helped us fillet the fish a couple of days later. Capello was right about the good eating part. Now, look, look at my hand, guys. I want you to see just how much, you know, look at the steaks. Look at, look at this. This is incredible, man. Incredible. I marinated some steaks in Italian dressing and grilled it. I will say it's some of the best tasting fish I've ever had. So what's your fishing story? I want to hear from you. So comment down below. Nature is unpredictable, and I'm sure some of you guys have some special stories to share. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. If you didn't like it, just hit that dislike button twice. Next on Coastal GX, I finally get to chronicle my adventures on our five-day-long trip at the Port Mansfield East Cut. Mm -hmm.